Hi everyone, I'm here with Kathy. Hi guys. And we're here today to talk a little bit about the exciting new colors that Aesthetica Designs has launched. The coffee collection, these beautiful coffee inspired colors. We have four amazing colors to talk to you about today and they will be available in three styles. Avalon, Finn, and Orchid. So, Kathy, first impressions. What do you uh, think? They're absolutely beautiful. It looks like you went to the salon, took a little paintbrush, and just very gingerly painted the shades of the highlights on. It's so natural. And, like, you guys, you really have to see this in true life because they're so gorgeous. It's, it's crazy. I love that you said painted because I think that's what makes these colors very unique and very different than anything that you're going to see out there right now. Um, unlike other, you know, highlighted colors, they're not chunky, they're not too blended. Um, I think there's just a really light sort of artistic touch mm -hmm. of those highlights, like you said, being painted on. They're so subtle and that's what's so gorgeous about them because from far away, you might not notice that much, but then when you get up close, it's kind of like, bam! And it's great. Yeah. It's so incredible. So I'm just going to tell you all just a little bit about this project in the making. Um, this project has been two years in the making um, to develop these colors. And it has been an absolute labor of love from, for me. Um, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys a little bit maybe more about that sort of technical aspect about what really makes them different than and any other color, you know, a rooted color or a highlight. Um, so I'm going to start with just saying that when I first started developing these colors, um, I sent them out to my factories and asked them to make prototypes for me, um, to try and mimic and copy what I had asked them to do um, and the colors that I would sent them. And, um, you know, I, there were two factories that gave me colors. And the one factory, the colors were absolutely beautiful. There was nothing wrong with them. But they were beautiful, but they weren't what I wanted. And why I'm saying that is because it didn't have the depth and the richness that the other factory was able to achieve. Um, the one factory, I'll call factory A, had more of just a, your standard rooted color. Beautiful, but not dimensional, not this bold, sort of rich, you know, really color that has so much depth. And when I started developing it with, so I, I went with the other factory. and. We were tweaking it, trying to get all the different colors, all the tones that I wanted. Um, and when I went to decide to expand them into Avalon, Finn, Orchid, uh, they asked me to actually um, not put them in current running styles. The factory said that they would refer me to apply these new colors to new styles, um, to which I said, you know, that's, I don't understand. I need these in the, col in the styles that we have. Um, as well as new styles. So in talking to them, the one thing that they made very clear to me is that it, it's a very difficult color to achieve. It's not your typical route. Um, there is a blueprint for any style that's being made, where you put the webs, how they're placed. This, to make this color, they needed a completely new blueprint. They had to make a completely new blueprint just for this color for the styles that they would be available in. And that takes a lot of work um, and with a little pushing I was able to get them to agree and here we are today. One of the things that I want to really focus on is the fact that it isn't, that these are not your typical rooted colors. If you see the rooting is of all varied lengths. Some are shorter, some are longer. They're placed so that you have that dimensional look. Most rooted colors when you look at them, you know, they might just have the roots sort of up to here. They're not all harsh, you know, there's a little bit of blending in here gradual, um, but you don't get this dimension here. When you look through this, you still see some of that, that depth right here, and it flows throughout. So as Kathy said, it really is like these things, these highlights are painted on. Yeah, there's no sharp line of demarcation. It just blends so beautifully. Yeah, and it's not, and it's not a longer root. It's not like there's a longer root, okay, because, because there's a varying length. These root, the rooting is at varying length and very, very specifically uh, placed and very deliberately placed, placed to create this color. So sort of a long-winded, hopefully I didn't bore all you guys, a long-winded 
you know, discussion or, or just informative piece about how these were created and why they are so different because, as we say, it's unparalleled artistry. It's really a work of art, the way they're able to just kind of fit all the pieces together in this complex color and make it work. So, sorry for being so long-winded, but here we go. Let's talk a little bit about the colors. Kathy, why don't you, why don't you start first? You have such a great way of explaining Okay, colors. well, Americano way. is great because it looks like there's some low lights here, so I just want to say something to all my mature lady friends out there. <laughs> if you are thinking of transitioning your regular hair color into a sort of gray or anything lighter, this is the perfect, perfect color because you've got the darkness, you've got low lights. This looks exactly like low lights from the salon. It's unbelievable. And this color is very, very cool tone friendly, but warm tones can wear it as well because of the lighter shades. But the darker shade actually looks beautiful on cool tone. Next, over here, we have our iced mocha. And it looks so good, I want to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> but really, we have a lighter shade here. And as you can see from the back, it's very well blended. And I think what is really great about this is that we have Finn and Avalon. And they are definitely wigs that give you a really good view and a really good perspective of how this shade, these shades look on layered hair. Like it's absolutely stunning. And these colors, you're absolutely right, these colors can only really be made in wavy curly styles because it's true. You They're can't, not going to work on a right, straight those style. Those painted highlights are not going to translate well in a straight style. So the ones that we pulled here, you've got Avalon right here, you have Finn here, another Finn, and Avalon here. So what I'd love to do is I'm going to show you how this color can translate differently depending on the curl pattern. Um, and the highlights will look a little bit different. It's still the same color combination, but because, for example, Orchid is not as curly and not as PC and separated as something like Avalon or Finn, it's going to look slightly different. I'm going to reach down here and grab Orchid. Take a look right here. I'm going to move the ice mocha here, just one second. Right over here. And here is Orchid. Longer. Pull that down too so you guys can take a better look here. Okay. So longer, different curl pattern. Okay, so it does translate slightly differently. Show you just a side view of this. All the same color tones are there. You've got um, here, this is a four root. You have uh, 10 going through it, 26 and 101. Let's see the 101 right here. Okay, you can see the 10, which is a little bit of that darker, a little bit more of that sort of soft brown. And then the 26 is kind of straight through there. It gives it that little bit of pop. And when Kathy and I were looking at this, I really liked how, you know, she pointed out that the tips, the ends, actually look lighter mm -hmm. because it is longer. Because it's longer. It's, ab it's absolutely beautiful. It really is gorgeous. So just the difference in terms of the color, same color, same colors in there in terms of, you know, a 10, 26, 101 with a four root, but looks a little bit different, you know, in a style that does not have that, you know, the waviness and that PCness that Avalon would have. But even putting Orchid up, like in an updo, it, it'll mm -hmm. look beautiful. Yeah, definitely. Just kind of that, oh, with that beautiful with the colors. Oh, it yeah. really looks gorgeous. I, lo I love that. And I That's love holiday hair. Oh, absolutely. I would have to agree with you. Holiday hair. And I love it. This is, out of all three of them, I'd say this is probably the most um, just distinctive because mm -hmm. of, you know, it has the darker root with this light, so you have that light and dark going there. So but it's, it, and it doesn't look harsh, though. That's the thing. It's, it's created in such a way exactly. that it isn't harsh. Exactly. It's just really nice and subtly blended until it just, you get that bang factor. Exactly. It's really nice. I love that, the bang factor. Exactly. Okay, okay so here's the thing. Toffee Latte is so incredibly great. It reminds me a little 
of Caramel Kiss, which mm. if you guys know me, you know Caramel Kiss is one of my favorite shades of all time. But the distinctiveness with this and the thing that's different about this and Caramel Kiss, we've got more subtle highlights Absolutely. running through. Where Caramel Kiss is more rooted and you've got the thicker colors, maybe chunkier, this is just so nicely distributed that there is definitely a difference. You have the lighter colors and it's, this is like, I just, I want to kiss this. This is so adorable. <laughs> So this is Toffee Latte. Yeah, and Toffee Latte, you know, unlike Caramel Kiss, this only has two different colors going through it. All right, we've got a 12 and a 20 with, I guess, I mean, just in terms of the highlights, with an 8 root. So this nice soft brown sort of melts down, and then you have a 12 and a 20. Caramel Kiss, like you said, has a little bit more of that, that auburn-y, right. almost a coppery feel to mm -hmm. it. So it's a third color that's popped into there. This one doesn't have it. Out of all the ones in this collection, I would say that's the most subtle. It is, definitely. So I think if somebody likes all of these, but they want a little bit more of a subtle touch, this is the color to get. Absolutely. Top big yeah, and I, I mean, just looking at the back of this, I love, I mean, I think the color you can see from the front, but from the back is where you really get just a sense of these gorgeous highlights. And I keep saying it, but that depth. You take a look all through here, how that rooting comes all the way down at varying lengths, placed perfectly to give you that dimension. So you don't just have depth up to here, but it's not like, you know, it's not like the depth is so chunked. It's like the root's here and then it's here. You know, it's spaced out and placed so strategically to make it look bold and rich, but not overbearing. But it's true, even when you make an exit from a party or a restaurant, people are going to remember that hair. They're going to be like, oh my God, look at the back of her hair. And usually people don't pay attention to the back of your hair. It's what's up front that counts. But this is one thing that people are going to be oh, like, oh my God. I love that. That's so true because it looks beautiful from the front, but then you flip to the back Turn and around. it's like, wow, you see all of that. And shot. nobody will notice the pandemic wait. <laughs> The 19, the big 19. Now it's 20. Now, okay, here's the way I pronounce this. Vanilla ma macchiato. 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 Because I'm from New York. But here we have another great shade. This is not the most subtle of them, but I love the way that everything kind of blends on, whoops, blends on its own without being, um, without being harsh or without having that, like, bold line of demarcation. Mm -hmm. And I know that right out there, people are going to be asking right now, well, that looks like another shade. That looks like Silver Sun. Right, and absolutely. it's not at all, because if you look at Silver Sun, everything is up here, and then the bottom roots are the darker ones. And um, you know what, do we, we, have, do we, we do have one right, right by there. Right so, Kathy, you're See, absolutely right. Here's the difference. Silver Sun is one of our most popular silver shades. Silver Sun is really silver, but you've got a little bit of a tease here with the vanilla, and it's just like so nice. So I think that if you are fond of Silver Sun, this is definitely a color that you are going to want to have in your collection. Absolutely. With Vanilla Macchiato, you'll see that there's more of this sort of sandier, kind of color through it, mm -hmm. uh, much more so than Silver Sun has. Um, Vanilla Macchiato is made up of a 10, 25, and a 60 with an eight root. Um, and what you can see here, you know, just by looking at this, the rooting of Silver Sun kind of just kind of makes its way back down to here. You know, it has a little bit more here, but you don't see that depth and dimension because there's no rooting Should we at turn all them inside through here. Out? Yeah, let's turn them inside let's out. And that. then just kind of hang them to show okay. you, okay? Do you know what? I think I'm gonna hold it this way. Okay. Why don't we hold it that way? Yeah. So we'll grab it from here, okay? And I'm gonna hold that right sure. here, and I'll hold this right here. So what you see is, you know, you see this root that comes all the way down, okay? And it's also very strategically placed, so it's not just all in one spot. And this root, you see, it's really just consolidated to this sort of area. This goes all the way all through the, way the entire. And you see it's much deeper and it's deeper, more deep, it's deeper in other sections than, you know, all, all, all throughout. It's not a uniform moving. Um, and you can see that dimension. 
And there is a naturalness to this because let's face it, a lot of women that do um, go white or gray have different shades. Mm -hmm. So you've got the different shades in here, which I think is really friendly. Yeah, absolutely. I would completely agree with you. And these are both Avalons, so you can really make that, you know, you can see that comparison. Same curl pattern, same style, mm -hmm. but, you know, the color you can definitely see there is a difference with this sort of, this, this, here we go. There we go. Right, awesome. And we can just try, turn around one more time just to see the difference in that back color. There we go. So you can, when you kind of open that up, you see more rooting all throughout. Where's this? It just ends. So that gives that dimension, that sort of painted feel of, of the uh, of color. All right, so now that we talked about these, Kathy, what do you think? You want to try some? Oh, yeah, I want to try these babies on. Which one do you want to try on first? Okay, I think that I am going to try Americano first. Ooh. Okay, well, can I give her a little bit of... Yes, uh, let's, of, let's, let's, let's you know, get those curls a little bit tighter. Okay. Um, I'm going to spray her with our new sea salt spray just to give her a little bit more peasiness and waviness out there. Get her prepped up and looking you know, beautiful. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my blazer off. Okay. I don't care if people see all the fat that I oh. gained. Please. But I just want everybody to get a better look at the wig itself rather than... Um, that's a great idea. With a, with a I like laser. that. Well, let me tell you something. I'm still wearing only elastic pants. But <laughs> buttons have been banished. <laughs> elastic waistband, the way to go. So I'm gonna kind of give her a little bit of love here. Okay. And then get the back. Just a touch to bring her a little bit more back to life. There we go. I'm gonna give her a good shake. Stripe. That's right, shaking that stir. Yeah, that's how we like our martinis um, and our Avalons. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, Kathy, go for it. I can't yeah. wait to see this. And I know that this is going to be a color that Monsieur Vincent. Oh, I know. He's Cassie gonna... will love. I'm gonna. I'm gonna want to wear this when the bills come in. <laughs> I love. Okay, that. I don't have a mirror, so I can't. Right there. Oh, yeah, that's right. There you go. We're prepared. Oh, I love. <laughs> hey, Avalon. This, you and Avalon. This is so great. I, you and Avalon. I'm sorry, are just, I'm getting excited. I can't help it. I just love you and Avalon. I Avalon yeah. is one of my favorites. You know, and and thought, Vincent loves it too. And I thought Jameson was. You know, and then it's just there's something about Avalon that works so well. Like you with the I waves around your face, like it just. It looks so natural and beautiful. Yeah. Well, that's, Vincent and I actually have discussions because, you know, Jameson is my favorite oh, wig yeah. of all time. Yeah. Like, Jameson is my favorite wig of all time. But Avalon is, like, the second favorite. And he's just like, oh, my God, because I love when you have <laughs> some baby hair. It's so beautiful. It reminds me it. of when we first met. Oh, my God. Why, why do you want that straight hair when you are... Weavy personality. So yeah. <laughs> you are a weavy personality. Definitely. So, yeah. But you know what I love? I mean, Jameson brings out a different side in you. Yes. And it frames your face so beautifully. But your face also can really, you know, bring out just the beauty of Avalon and the shape. You know, it's not overwhelming on you at all. You no, know, like you and that's the thing that's so beautifully. This is one of the things that I want to stress to all the like older ladies out there you can wear long hair you don't have to wear short hair you can wear long hair this is medium long you can wear whatever length you want and that's the beauty of Avalon because I think she's a great great length she's not too long so if you do want to go a little longer this is a great great length I love it is it great can you do a little turn to show them the yes. back of the hair Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Look, I'm going to twerk. <laughs> twerk it on here. Twerk, twerk the wig. <laughs> Too fun. I love it, Kathy. So here we go. I love it. And I, I love it. I love it. I really do. I just, the dark color. 
You just, it just, you, you pull off the dark color so well. I guess because you're natural. Well, I'm, I'm naturally dark. Dark hair. But it's so interesting because you have such fair skin and it works so well with the dark hair. Hey, so how about Orchid? Can I, can I give her a little spray? Yes. Let's give her a little spray. And I think it'll be great just for people to be able to see, you know, how the color translates, you know, from or, uh, from Orchid to Avalon, how it's a little bit different. Um, and it always looks so much better when they're on you. So let me just do that. Let me, let me give it a quick shake. Another quick shake. Give her a little bit of air. Oh, she's really gorgeous. Oh, I know. This is your Julie Roberts hair. Remember the first yes. time? Oh my gosh. So the first time you came to visit with us, which was, oh my gosh, years ago. And you were, my, you were my favorite scarf. Oh, and the scarf that I stole from my daughter. Oh, genius. Right. And then, remember, you tried on Orchid. I forget what color. It was, I think, 30, 28, 26. I don't remember which one it was. But it was a red color. Yes, I remember that. And oh my god. I was... I was blown away with, you know, how much you look. I was like, it's Julie Roberts. That's look at it this. Is. Isn't this great? Oh, I love it. Oh, oh I love this. So do you like the long, like really long? I mean, is that? You know what? I, I, know, I know Alden is longer, but Orchid is even longer. And I knew they were getting I, I love this. I don't care how. I, I'll be 90 if I make it like that and walk up the street in a walker with high heels and this wig on. I don't care. I love I it. I love that you love it. I think it's great. And I think that. Longer hair makes every woman just look. I love looking at it. So not just girly, but it's just it's a, it's got a nice vibe. It really does. It just I kills me this. though because honestly, when you put on, you know, Avalon, Finn, Jameson, you still I still see you. When you put this on, it's it's I feel like it's so different. I feel like I see such a different you. I don't. I mean, it's so strange because you put on three different styles. You know, even all of them, like all of them, I still see you, but this one, it changes you somehow. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the layers. Maybe it's, I, I don't know. I wore Do orchid. Well, I, I, I wore orchid to work. The gray. Mm -hmm, the chrome. To, the chrome. Excuse me. I'm really bad with The colors. chrome. I wore orchid to work for the, for the first time yeah. a couple of weeks ago. And everybody was, well, like the few people that are in the office were like, oh my God, I love that. They love the style. They love the length. They love, like they actually loved the, they, there was yeah. nothing about Orchid that they didn't like. And I thought, so. maybe what it is is because it's longer, it frames your face so differently, you know, and it just, I think the layers are really good. I think the layers are good if you've got like a square face because they soften the squareness and the angular part. Mm -hmm. If you have like old lady jowls, they get rid it, it, it. It's just a great way. It's a great way. Give us a little turn. Let's of see course. the back of that one. Here's the side. Oh, beautiful. Here we go. I love it. I love how you said that putting it up. You know, you did a beautiful job right. getting all it up and like an updo. I mean, I could and just you can see put this. this you can put this up. You can put it in a, <gasps> oh boy. In a ponytail. Oh, that's like gorgeous. Anything. Like even to the side. Oh, I love like, it. Like this is great. This is really a great wig. And I think this shade. I love that shade. Beautiful. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Well, that's what I'm going to try next. Okay, great. Let's take a look at that one. I think she needs a little, I think she's curly. Yeah, she's, she's, enough, she's got enough just love. Shake her a little. Yeah, shake her. Give her a good shake and see how that works. And voila, a different Kathy. Ooh. Here we go. Such a, it's just it's so, so, it brings that, it, like, it, uh, honestly, and that's one of the great things about different shades and wigs is that on a normal basis, I, I would go with a brighter lip color. Yeah. With something like this, this and yeah, maybe absolutely. a brighter blush. So you get to work with a lot of makeup too. Oh my gosh, I don't want to be rude and step in front of you, but I gotta see her. Oh, I love it. Great. I love how that falls right there. I know, like there's nothing, th there's nothing that has to be done. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so great about it. Hold on, I'm gonna turn around. This is my left side, and here we are in the back. Oh, beautiful. And here is the right side. So you get a good, good view of how she looks all the way around. And it. this is just a great, look, this is a great color for all ages. Mm -hmm. If you're young and you want to have a really nice pop of non-color color, color mm -hmm. this is it. If you're older and you want to kind of have an edge to your normal gray hair or white hair, plop this baby on. You'll get it. tons of compliments. I love it. 
I love it. What do you think about this versus Silver Sun now? Because I know you love I Silver love Sun. Silver Sun. That's the thing. I like, but you know what? Both of them to me are really great, but for more depth yeah. and something that looks like more yeah. like I went to the salon yeah. and had it done. I like this because it's subtle. The color is so much prettier on you than on a mannequin. I, I, I love looking at Anna on Kathy because I see it what so differently. This? I love what I what my favorite part of this on you is I love the little, you know, sort of I guess it's a, the the ten. The ten and the twenty five just kind of slice subtly going through here. And it's not so chunky. It's so subtle and it's beautiful. I love it. Love it. Is would you like to try some other ones? Of course, I'm trying them all. Oh, yes. Trying them all on. Which one's next? Ice Mocha. All right. I love Ice Mocha. A lot of people, you know, pictures are very, very difficult. It is. Pictures you know, are. Pictures are hard to show the nuances, particularly for this collection. It really needs to be seen in person. Um, we're doing the best we can with video and pictures. But, you know, sometimes, you know, pictures might make it look like Ice Mocha and Toffee Latte are really similar, but they are They're not. They're totally different. Ice Mocha is called Ice because it has, you know, a brighter color, that icier shade right here throughout it. Okay, we've got an 8 and 18. Okay, so we've got that blonde and then the 26, which is a little is top really of that nice. sort of auburnish color with an 8 root. Okay, Toffee Latte doesn't have an 18, it doesn't have that blonde, it doesn't have that 26. So this has more of a color combination and has more of a pop than Toffee Latte does. And in Finn, you know, Finn just makes these colors look amazing. Well, I have Finn and I have two oh Finns in Caramel Kiss and I love Finn, like I love Finn. This has more, th these colors here have more dimension. So it actually makes the wig look more layered. Yeah. Which I really like because uh, having thick bio hair, yeah. thin is crazy. Oh, absolutely. And thin, you know, is a, is a very full style. It is. You know, it's definitely a full style because of the layers and because of, you know, the, those waves. It can, it really looks like a very full style. But with, like you said, with these highlights in here, it almost kind of quiets her down a little bit in, mm -hmm. in one way. It doesn't. It, it kind of makes her look a little bit more sleek, a little bit more softer, maybe. Yeah. You know? And I think that's one of the, like, I've had people say, ask me about Finn, like, oh, there's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair. I know. Sure. And my thing is, well, if that's how you feel, Avalon might be a better choice. Mm -hmm. oh, because absolutely. the density isn't what it is with Finn. Absolutely. Either way, both wigs are great, but this is and it's, really, really. It's personal preference. It you is. Know, it's Finn total is. Thin has a lot to offer and some, I mean, for me, I would always tend to something more like Avalon than to Thin because my hair itself is always, is extremely thin. So for me to put a wig on when I do, and it's really has a lot of volume, it feels uncomfortable for me. Well, you know? that's the thing with, the, the other thing that's good about Thin is the length is great to wear with a nubby sweater exactly. because you're not going to have all this really long hair getting caught in the texture of the fabrics because right. that happens a lot and that's one actually that's kind of one issue that a lot of women have with longer wigs mm -hmm. is yeah, that yeah. when they yeah. wear when they wear like a sweater or a heavy wool blazer things get tangled up i have had fin how i've had my fins for well over a year and i have worn them all during the winter and they are fine awesome. they are absolutely fine that. i have never had an issue and you know what I love about the coloring in this? this? It really does highlight how Finn has that sort of uh, that V shape, right? Yeah. Because it's pretty full up top, but then with the layers, it gets a little bit thinner, you know, not as not as much volume at the bottom, and that really pulls those highlights out. And as Kathy said, it's really helpful when you have a lot of and it doesn't look going stringy, on. And even it, though even though the thickness kind of wanes mm -hmm. a little. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't get stringy. It's really, really a yeah. great, great head of hair. I love it. And I really just, one of my favorite parts of that, that color is that icy blonde going through it, um, which is why it's called Ice Mocha. Okay, Let's so try. now we are going to try Twaffy, Twaffy Latte. Twaffy. Twaffy. So hopefully you guys can see there's, I mean, because I'm standing here in real life, I can see the difference between the colors and I can, there's a feeling that comes across. This is definitely softer, um, mm -hmm. more subtle, but oh, I just love, it is like just drizzled caramel. It is. It's unbelievable. It is. This is, this is great. And there's, you know what? I'm going to say something else because I have, oh, I love it. 
I have four fins. I'm like Finnish. <laughs> but um, one of the things that I love about the quality of this <laughs> wig is that it takes well to steaming. I mm. happen to like, even though I love all of this, mm -hmm. I like the bang just slightly less wavy. Right. So I have steamed my fins only, like literally only here. And it is the perfect, it, it's the perfect way. I love that you said that. It's great. Because Finn, you're absolutely right. Finn has that sort of almost like a, it's got that wave. wave. It's got almost like a little cow. Right. Almost. And some people love that. I know. And for others, it's, we look better with it just a little tiny bit straighter. And that's what it's all about is and that's making it your, your own. own. You got to you know, make it your own. You got to make it your own. And I love that. I love, and I love seeing that happen. I love seeing our styles out there and our, you know, you guys it. wearing it and making it even better by doing it the way you want to do it. That just, it's that just is pure joy, you know, but this color, it's so funny because every time I look at this color, I'm always like, gosh, it's sort of like the boring one out of the bunch. No, but, but then when you wear it, it isn't. No, it, it not is at all. Are it, you kidding? I know. I mean, and I'm always surprised by it because, you know, even when we're looking at this just now, I was like, oh, coffee latte. You put it on. It is not boring at all. This is Thanksgiving so here. beautiful. Yeah. This is, it's just. This is, you sit down at the Thanksgiving table and you give thanks that you have a wig like this. I love it. That's what you give thanks I for. I love it. It is. It's this gorgeous. is more of a Christmas one. You think yeah. why? Well, simply because. I like to wear a lot of bright red at first. Oh, yeah, bright red looks good with that. Ooh, the bright, contrast. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I, I think it's just so hard to see and understand the beauty of these colors. And I, I wish that I could have all of you here so you could all touch it and look at it and see in it in real life. I wish I could just have a million of them to send out to everybody so everyone could take a look at them because I'm so passionate about these colors. I love these colors. And I just feel like the pictures in the video are great, but it really has to be seen in person. So I hope it's we did. I, I, I truly believe everything that you said is so spot on. Because think about it. When you go to a salon, whether you have bio hair or whether you used to have bio hair and you've gone to a salon to get like a balayage or low lights mm -hmm. or highlights, it's going to cost more money. Mm -hmm. So when you have something like this, it's still not a human hair wig. For a synthetic wig, the price is spot on and it's a great value. I'm glad. I'm glad that you think that. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, I, I absolutely agree with you, you know, in terms of the, the salon aspect. Um, so hopefully we did a good enough job. I hope you guys got a little taste of the coffee here that we have and, you know, have uh, presented to you guys. And I hope that you guys will love them and enjoy them and see them for the work of art that, that I think they are. That's right. We don't need Starbucks. We've got Aesthetica Cafe. Exactly. I love it. Coffee collection. That's right. Coffee, <laughs> coffee collection. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. Bye-bye.